Hi there, my name is Michael Hausenbless and I'm going to walk you through the Apache Drill frontend now. So if you go to servergoal.dairy.ie slash Apache Drill um, in your browser, you should ex exactly see what uh, I see here now. Essentially, uh, the welcome splash screen tells you about to configure um, Apache Drill front and uh, let's have a look at that now. Um, the first thing you really want to do, you want to set uh, the dummy drill back end to this address, the very same address as we entered just before, server goal uh, 85.dairy.ie slash Apache Drill. That's where the um, currently the dummy drill back end um, serves, which is essentially a very thin wrapper around an elastic search um, cluster uh, that uh, will serve as a backend uh, till we have something uh, more elaborate there. Now uh, you can get rid of that. We don't need that anymore. Um, if I enter a query right now here, uh, chain, for example, it will tell me that there are no data sources yet. So the first thing really uh, you want to uh, do is to create a project and within it a data source. If you're not sure what the project is, you can look at the help there. Project idea there essentially is a thin, um, well, wrapper collection of uh, data sources, and uh, you want, may want to, um, yeah, group that by either the data publisher or thematically or whatever. For now, let's just create a simple project um, called Beer Preferences. Yeah, we did that already once, as you can see. Um, once that there. Um, we have to add a data source, and that data source is um, essentially the, for now, for this uh, front end, um, the name of uh, the Lucene index that uh, Elasticsearch uh, serves. So I'm going to use that Apache drill for now. Um, and you can see that the data source appears here, and I activate it uh, by clicking on it. It's green, so now we're good to go, right? Let's try that again. Uh, Jane, execute, voila, there you go. 33 uh, results of um, documents, of JSON documents that contain uh, the term Jane in there. Uh, of course, you can also do things like, uh, for example, ID 55. And here I'm going to show you something. Uh, rather than hitting the execute button, you can always say shift enter and the um, query will be executed. Um, it follows the typical um, or usual Lucene syntax there. For example, if I want to say uh, name Ted, well, it looks in the field name. If I say beer, um, what? Hefe, right, shift enter executes the query. Well, 201 documents apparently have uh, the term Hefe within it. Um, so that's one thing you can do with uh, the Apache Drill front end so far. You can always configure it there if you want to. Um, there's a little about that tells a bit more about the front end, um, and this is linked to the GitHub. Um, source where I'm currently keeping the um, front end. And what else do we have? Yeah, so you can always add new data sources there, blah. Not very exciting because there is no blah index. Um, you can create new project, test, test. And um, so you will see there's always one active uh, project and one active um, data source for the time being. And the nice thing is that um, even if you close that, um, all your data will be stored. So all the uh, projects and all the data sources um, will be saved uh, locally. You can have a look at that in, um, in uh, the local storage. Everything is kept there. So if you close your browser, restart it, everything is there all the configuration, um, as you can see, backend and uh, the current uh, selected data source, as well as all the projects and the data sources within, are um, always
is uh, stored and uh, of course you can also change uh, the name of a project uh, uh, yet another another name right um, and whenever you uh, want to query against a certain data source you just select it here and the query let's try that one so blah the blah data source doesn't exist so if i hit execute now it will of course say yeah this uh, data source doesn't exist because um, Elasticsearch and Lucene with it doesn't find uh, the data source there. So what happens if I hit reload? Uh, I will see the splash screen again and my preferences um, and all my um, data sources and projects are still there. A bit of a safeguard and um, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. What you can do um, here, um, the Torah will soon uh, feature the screencast I'm currently recording and um, yeah so have fun uh, trying it out for now the only thing you really need to do is uh, setting the back end to this uh, URL and then creating a data source that is called Apache underscore drill which is the name of the index of the Lucene uh, index uh, that is uh, here on that uh, server. Uh, you can of course set it up locally if you want. Uh, if you want to set it up locally, you um, git clone the entire Apache drill front end into uh, whatever uh, lo what you have locally. You will have uh, you will need Elasticsearch. You uh, want to install Elasticsearch first, of course. Um, you uh, run it uh, so that Elasticsearch server is running. I can check it on localhost uh, 9200 if uh, the Elasticsearch server is running. I have a little Python script here that generates as many data sources as uh, you tell it to, to generate there. Uh, all pretty much look the same, you know, a name, uh, timestamp, and, and uh, yeah, the list of beer that uh, person here apparently prefers or likes, random, randomly generated, and uh, then you can try the low level thing uh, here with um, curl or I'm, I'm using HDPy there to see if the search is okay and once it's done you uh, start up the, the, the dummy drill uh, backend which as I said is a thin wrapper around that uh, elastic search um, server and um, there you go well, you need Python elastic search and uh, you need to uh, install the Python elastic search uh, library there and uh, if you've done that and have run it locally, you can just uh, change it here to localhost uh, 6996. That's the default port the dummy drill uh, backend is running on. And then you can uh, do whatever you like locally there with that. Okay, that's pretty much it. So um, enjoy playing around with the uh, Apache Drill front end, and if you have any suggestions, any feature requests, or whatever uh, issues you might have, please go to um, the issue tracker and uh, record it here. Okay, enjoy with uh, uh, have fun and enjoy uh, using the Apache Drill front end, and uh, hopefully, see you soon there.